everyone. I want to show you a journal that I've completed. It's just back. It's not a fabric journal this time. It's just a, the cover is a cereal box covered in cardstock. It's a five by seven, has a three inch spine, has a raised button for a closure, some seam binding ribbon holding it shut. Um, a while back before I started making journals, I would make these paper bag pockets. Well, maybe some of you have seen online where they make picket pocket bag. Paper bag pockets. This was a black paper bag from Michael's, I think. And then you would put paper on it and construct these pockets. There would be a pocket in the front, and then there's a couple of pockets in the top. This one just has one pocket on the top. Well, I had a bunch of them made, but I just didn't really know how to bind them together or what I was going to do with them. So this journal that I completed is kind of a combination of both of those type of things. I'm trying to use up uh, things that I have and make something out of them. So um, this is the journal that I created. Uh, this journal will be listed in my Etsy store, so I'll kind of just do a nice flip through of it so that the person that's interested know knows what it looks like before they consider purchasing it. So you just uh, push down on the journal and lift off the closure. This one did get kind of thick, but um, you know, if you're a journaler, there's things you like to write down and have them all confined into one journal. It's a couple of journal tags in the pocket on the front cover. Uh, there's a pocket with a tag inside. I am kind of trying to design my own tags. So this, this is one of my tags. There's a tag in this burlap pocket here. And then some journal pages and another tag. Some patterned paper. This is a envelope. The pages are all kind of dyed. Flips out and there's another tag inside the envelope. Journaling page. Another little page with the tuck spot and a journaling card. Photos all have journaling spots on the back. Lace on the edge. Journaling pages. These are kind of a paper flip out for journaling. This has an image on the front. Some paper for a hinge. The bindings are sewn in. There's four signatures and three paper bag pockets. There's another flip out image. There's another journal card in here. Tuck spot. I purchased those tags from an Etsy seller. There's a tag in there. This is a coffee filter stamped on. Creates a pocket for this tag. Has some fibers on the pull. A lot of the details of the journal will be listed on the Etsy store, too. A little journal card. This is one of the paper bag pockets now. It's hinged in, kind of on its own. has a couple of journal cards that fit in the top. Uh, there's a pull on the side. Now there's another journal card in the top here. Some, a little bit of embellishing on the back. There's also a, a pocket here. It says family stamped on it. So you can stick images in the pocket. Here, it's a pretty big pocket. And there's a little pocket and a ticket. There's another pocket on this side. It's kind of a double pocket. The tag goes in here plus... There's another pocket up here. Another tag and pocket. This is the burlap pocket embellished with a hanky and just different things with the tag stuck in. Some lace wrapping around. A little embellishment there. Another flip out with a tag in the envelope. It says true friend on the bottom. Another tuck spot here. 
another tag that's kind of embellished on the bottom and on the back. Fixing that pocket there, some more lace on the edge. Another tag, another tag, pocket, tuck spot, I should say. Pockets, and tags. So it just kind of goes through the journal in the same kind of style with the tags and in the pockets and the tickets and the tuck spots and this is another one of the bags covered with the designer paper and the tag in the pocket and the ticket this is a piece of paper the journaling paper just fold it up and tucked in there so the tuck spots are if you want to use journaling pages on those pages you sure can have a spot to tuck them in. This is another little pocket on the side here under the flowers. And tuck spots on there, journaling spots. Uh, images. This is a paper clip with some fibers and a heart. This tag is stuck in a journal in a fabric pocket. Tags, tuck spots, a little cup with some lace as a tuck spot, a couple more of those tags in this pocket, it's a little tag stuck down here, this is our home, it's another one of the paper bag pockets that don't, or paper bag, yeah, paper bag pockets, it's a tag, a bigger tag up in the top here. Uh, this is a doily. I think I got from that from Denise on her Etsy store. They're the square, square doilies. I kind of inked it up. This tag goes in that pocket. Tag. Tag and tuck spot. Memories. Lots of journaling spaces. And another tags and journaling spots. And then we come to the last page has a little envelope. And the envelope has a tag in, sewn around the edges, got a little pocket on the back. Fits in there kind of cute. Tucks in this coffee filter that's folded over, wraps around the page, and the doily holds that little doll ba baby image with some lace and it creates a large pocket for this tag that tucks in there and then we get to the back cover and there's a lot of room for your journal to grow slip your seam binding closure back over your button and that is my journal and like I said, I have that on my Etsy store, so the link is listed below. And I also have on my Etsy store kind of been making some tags. This tag is a little, kind of a nest tag. It has some lace on the bottom. These are all on my Etsy store. A little ticket on there sewn around the edges. Some embellishing with some lace. This one has a little boy with some trim and flowers and lace and fabric pocket with the tickets and some sequins. This is another one. Here's another one. It's kind of a similar lace and fabric pocket with a little ticket in there. Some embroidered flowers on there. And then the fourth ticket looks tag. It's kind of a garden theme. Rose seeds rose ticket on the back. It says Embrace Life. It's kind of a vintage fabric. They're all sewn around the edges. So those are the tags. And also, if you need tags for your journals or anything like that, and I have these different fiber cards on the my Etsy store too. I have a lot of fibers and I use such a little bit. So I thought, well, just make up some cards if anyone's interested in different types of fibers all on one card. And you can go over there and check that out. So 
I thank you for watching. Bye.